Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your phone if your back camera on your iPhone is not working, it's blank, or you just simply can't get it to work, whether it be on the actual camera or on certain app. We're going to show you how to fix that. Now, in this video, this is going to be all the software fixes that you can do. If your camera was somehow damaged and it's a hardware issue, we're going to talk about that later in the video and how you can get that resolved as well. So let's get started. So whenever you're having issues with your back camera and similar with the front camera as well, let's say it's uh, white, black, or doesn't show anything at all, first thing to do is go ahead and just simply slide up like that and close out the camera app itself. Simple. Sometimes it could be as simple as that because over time if you use a camera a lot or the software just glitched, it might be simply just reopening again and your back camera might already work. If it is, great. Now let's say it's not working and you're still having the issue. The next thing you want to do is if you have certain case, sometimes if you install, put on a new case or a case that's interfering with the camera, like if it's a magnetic case or something, it could interfere with your camera. So I recommend taking the case off. And if you have any custom lens cover, sometimes uh, some people will install these lens cover to protect the lens. They might interfere as with your back camera as well. I recommend removing that as well. Check out other video on how to remove that. Now, after you have done that, and the next thing, kind of, it's a little bit obvious, but it's sometimes could be impacting your camera from not working. Is if you, if your phone has either it's extremely hot or extremely cold you may need to make sure the phone is operating at the normal temperature and the reason why that it is that the sensor built in to protect your phone's camera so you want to make sure your phone is operating at the ideal temperature because too hot or too cold again will impact that as well so those are come things to check but the next thing you want to go ahead and check is let's say the camera works fine maybe the back camera works for you fine but let's say you have certain app maybe facebook for example when you use facebook the app or when you try to use the camera to take a picture it doesn't work the thing you need to check is for third-party apps that you're allowing the camera to be accessible by those apps so in order to check that you're going to go into settings and what you'll do here is go to privacy and uh, security and then you do that you go to camera option and you should see the apps that have access to camera as you can see here i have three apps here but only two of them have access ebay and instagram and facebook doesn't have the access so you want to go ahead and make sure that it has access similarly if you don't see the app coming up in this you want to go back to the main setting here and go ahead and look for the app here on the list here so let's say you have a um, app that you want to use for example maybe you have reddit or something like that or tiktok right maybe uh, you need to allow the access for that app itself you want to make sure the camera is turned on for it sometimes if you don't get the prompt usually when you download a app it'll give you a prompt to give access if that didn't happen for you i recommend going ahead and deleting the app itself so you'll go ahead and find the app that you're having the issue so you press and hold that app remove it by clicking on delete and then after you delete it or remove it go back to the app store and go ahead and search the app again and re-download it so you'll turn it up like if you're re-downloading tiktok or something right you'll go ahead and get it and if there's an update out as well make sure you update it as well for it sometimes that might be a glitch with the app itself and that's why the camera isn't working now after you have done that let's say it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your phone and there's a certain settings some people then may have the screen time enabled. you'll see a screen like this if you don't have it enabled you can ignore this step but essentially if you go to content and privacy restriction and you go to allowed apps you want to make sure that camera is turned on like these other apps now let's say if camera is grayed out like that you won't be able to access your camera app itself because it will be not allowed for you so if we go ahead and try to open up camera you'll see here camera won't even show up or if it does it's not going to work so you want to make sure that is on the other thing to do is if you don't want to mess with this setting at all just simply turn it off i recommend doing that and then testing out the camera to make sure that whatever that issue was maybe needing to turn that off might have resolved that issue now after you have done that and still not working now it's time to give a phone a nice uh, reboot by doing a forced restart to in order to do that you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button on the right hand side like that you want to make sure when you press and release the volume up and down in sequence it's really quick and then holding that side button just like that without sliding to power off you're going to wait till the screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo and then we let go of that button and what we have just done is done a fresh clean reboot which reloads the software so if there's any software 
related issue that's impacting your phone, it will resolve it. Now, this method that we just did will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. And then after you're back on, hopefully now the camera is working. Now, if the camera still isn't working, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your phone. And this time in settings, we're going to go to general and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're going to click on that. And then you click on the first option for reset. And the reset that we want to do is reset all settings. And before we do that, a couple things you have to understand. This reset all settings will take about two to three minutes. What it will reset are things like uh, saved network setting, like if you save different Wi-Fi password or VPN setting. If you added things in the kick uh, dictionary for your keyboard, it will reset those. Home screen layout, if you have custom layout, it's going to reset those and any settings around location and privacy. Now, this reset all setting will not delete your personal data. So well, none of your data will be lost like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. It's just going to reset the settings themselves. If there's a certain setting that may be interfering with your camera, hopefully it will resolve it. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing to pretty much do is making sure your phone is up to date with the latest software version. And to do that, we're going to still be in settings and then go to general software update and make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi or cellular data and your phone is at least 50% or more are plugged in. And if there's an update out, it will show the update. And you want to go ahead and download it, the update and install it. And the reason why you want to update the phone is sometimes a previous update might have caused the issue to break certain functionality like the back camera, right? So you want to make sure your phone is up to date and the latest version and Apple recommends kind of doing that as a very first troubleshooting step. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing to check is to see if there's any kind of recall going on for your phone model that maybe you've released. Apple usually doesn't send out notification when there's a recall or service program. So what you need to do is go to any kind of browser and search up Apple service program so that's apple service program and the very first link should go to apple support website and once you click on that you can see here certain recalls that happen for certain things like as you can see here there's some recalls for apple watch iphone 12 that has no sound issue like some things around the uh, some of these display issues but let's say in the future you have a phone and it applies to you you can pretty much f read about that issue and then see what Apple can do for you. Usually if it's an impacted device, let's say your device is impacted, Apple will usually repair it for you for free or replace your device. Again, it's kind of one of those things you kind of have to check for. As Apple discovers these, they will post it out but not really notify people. So you'll have to check it on your own. Now after you have done that and none of these apply to you and you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to do is back up your phone and then do a complete factory re set to delete everything and then restore from it. That process takes a little bit longer and we explain that in another video which we'll leave in the description section or the comment section so check that video out. And if none of this worked even after doing that a backup and then factory reset and restore and we're going through all of that setting most likely unfortunately your back camera might be damaged or not functional anymore. In that case it will be a hardware repair. In that case you'll have to take it to the Apple store to Take a look at it so they can do the diagnostic and if they need to do the repair for the actual hardware they'll let you know so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so please make sure that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching guys see you guys next time